Bubble Busters! Let me tell you a crazy story. My name is Nicole. I live with my husband, Sean, and our daughter, Yelena, who just got into the fourth grade. I got to become such good friends with other mothers from Yelena's class that we always have a blast at school events. But it has been quite awkward recently. One of our mother's friends' name is Emma. She once told us that she slept with a man who was married and stole him as her husband. She was really into that sort of love. All of us were astonished from her confession and began keeping distance from her. Except me, since our daughters were so close. And one day, what I feared the most came true. Emma, are you home? There's something I want to talk to you about. Yeah, I am. What is it? Can you take a look at this photo? Huh? It's a photo of you and my husband going into a hotel. I can see your faces. You went all the way into a hotel in another city. But too bad. What? You followed us all the way just to take this photo? You must have been bored. <laughs> what? Isn't there something you should say before that? Why are you going to a hotel with my husband? I mean, Sean is way better than my husband. He's more handsome, rich. I thought now would be the best time to make a move. How is it the best? A husband is not a phone that you can just get a new one every few years. We had such an amazing time. Sean is really skilled, isn't he? Oh wait, you guys weren't that intimate anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he feels like your marriage is just a masquerade. He said that? That's totally not true. It's just that things don't start when we have our daughter. We still love each other. Then why would he sleep with me? <laughs> your feelings for him aren't mutual, girl. <laughs> so miserable. You probably forced him. What? You're blaming it on me? Sean is totally into me and is already getting serious about our relationship. Here's the proof. What the hell is this? It's the divorce paper that he filled out. I told him I was worried if I could ever become his number one, so he sent it to me. I can feel his love. No way. If you still want to talk, come right over. I actually want to see how badly your face crumbled right now. <laughs> you know what? Just send me a selfie. I'm not going to forgive you. I don't need your forgiveness. Oh, this sense of superiority, it feels amazing. There's no way he's gonna return to a boring woman like you after sleeping with me. I'm going to sue you. I'm going to sue both of you and make you both pay consolation fees. Sure, Sean said he'll pay for both of us. And by the way, we're taking your daughter. What? I'm not going to give her to you. Sean is fine with divorce and paying consolation fees, but he said he absolutely does not want to let Yelena go. Not that I want her, but... We can't hold a proper argument here right now. I don't even want to talk to you anyway. I'm going to just talk with my husband. Okay. It sucks that I don't get to check out your face. I showed our message history as well as the photo to my husband, who returned home at midnight. He immediately admitted the affair and asked for a divorce. After I asked his reasoning for having an affair, he just casually said, well, she's kind of cute. Completely pissed, I agreed to get a divorce, and I told him I was going to ask for a great amount of consolation fee. He agreed, being the rich man that he is. However, neither of us agreed to let go of our daughter. We spent months trying to come up with a solution, but Emma, who couldn't wait any longer, came up with the worst idea. This was when I was out with Yelena. I suddenly heard her scream. Help me, Mommy! Hey, shut up! Yelena, what? Why are you here? Emma, let go of her! No, it's your fault. I finally got to go out with Sean. But since you never agreed to a settlement, I haven't gotten to marry him yet. This is abduction. You know that? What you're doing is terrifying for Yelena. Yelena, if you come with me, you'll get to see your daddy and my daughter too. <laughs> It'll be so much fun. Mommy, help me! I'm scared! Let go of her or else I'm going to call the police! No! With this child, I can become a rich man's wife! No! There's no other choice. 
I'm not going to let her steal my daughter, too. Time for Trouble Busters! Hey, Emma! What are you doing to my daughter? Daddy! What? Sean? Why are you here? I called him, though you arrived way earlier than I expected. Cars and trains are too slow for me. Running is much faster. You really are something else when Yelena is involved. Sean, but I thought you were at work. I got a call saying that Yelena's being abducted by a weird woman, so I ditched work. What are you doing? No, 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 no. It's a misunderstanding. I really just wanted to become family with Yelena, so I thought bringing her home would work as a fait accompli, and so it would bring advantage for your settlement. <laughs> you just want to marry Sean. That's it, isn't it? You said you didn't want kids. Shut up! And that's why Yelena is crying right now? She must have pulled you hard. Your sleeves are dirty. Sean! Emma, I'm not going to marry you. What? I can't marry someone who treats my daughter like this, let alone for someone who we're going to live with. It must have been scary for you, Yelena. Wait a second. I already got a divorce with my current husband. I even agreed for a good amount of consolation fee since he wouldn't agree on getting a divorce. Uh, I thought I was going to marry you. That's why I quit my job and he made a lease on a new house. Uh, it's all down the drain. You better do something about this. Huh? I didn't know anything about what you just said right now. Why did you do all that without asking? But I thought if I got myself a rich man, oh, what was all my effort for? Um, sorry to interrupt. Do you remember that you have to pay me consolation fees too? Right? Thanks. Sean said he'll pay for that. I agreed on that because it wouldn't have made a difference if we were getting married. But now it's different. I'm not going to pay for your fees. I mean, we're strangers now. You... you're breaking off an engagement? You better pay me consolation fees for that! Yeah, I was going to become engaged with you after getting a divorce with my current wife. But since we're just breaking up before my divorce, I'm still not engaged with you. I didn't buy you a ring, nor did I introduce you to my parents. There's no proof of engagement. No! Take that, Emma. I mean, he's always been like this, so I guess you were dreaming too much. Sean, please reconsider this. At this rate, I'll literally just lose everything. Just marry me. I don't care. More than anything, I value my daughter. Hey, Elena! What about you? Wouldn't you like to be with a beautiful mother like me rather than Nicole? If I become your mother, I will make you pretty like a princess. I don't like you. You smell weird. You stink. No, 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 no. This is a perfume. And you bullied me. I know that someone like you are what people call ugly on the inside. Oh, ugly? I don't want to become a daughter to someone who's ugly on the inside. You're absolutely right, Yelena. All of you are just making fun of me. Oh, God damn it! Just marry me! I'm sure everyone in the neighborhood heard Emma scream for marriage. I made sure to properly receive my share of the consolation fees. But she really didn't give up on trying to make Sean pay for it. She seems to be back to her usual self now, looking for new men to steal. But our entire community network got her blacklisted, so I don't think she has a chance in this area anymore. After the incident, I won parental authority. Sean seemed really sad, but it was inevitable considering his affair. We decided to let Elena see him whenever she wanted, and since Sean pays a great amount of child support payment, Elena and I are now living a happy, stable life together.